Hello and welcome to another bad comic review. I decided to give Sideways another chance. I thought maybe I was being too harsh. So I saw issue 2 on the stand on Wednesday and I decided to pick it up. And I was right the first time. So this is put out by Kenneth Rocafort and Dan Didio. Dialogue by Dan Didio and Justin Jordan. Colorist was Daniel Brown. Carlos Mangula on letters. Cover artist with, was Kenneth Rochefort. Now the cover is actually kind of cool. I thought, you know... All right, we got that weird alien guy. Could be cool. So we open and we learn his name is Tempest Fugonaut. Really? That's as original as we could get is a play on Tempest Fugit. Okay. It's a full page spread of him. I'm a little insulted, you know, intelligence wise. And then uh, we find Sideways sitting there pulling his mask off, acting like a brat. And this gigantic alien is talking to him. His powers don't work. And the al alien's like, silence. Yeah, you're just like my mom. Uh, what? No, there's a giant scary alien there telling you that he's, that you're messing with something that you don't understand. There's consequences and you're just a mouthy brat. I really hoped by page three that this alien would crush him to death and then be become the hero of the book because the alien was speaking sense the kid's got a smart mouth takes zero responsibility for any potential damage he's causing if somebody shows up and says hey you're destroying things your first thought should be like what did i destroy you know what did i do this kid has none of that so he's a little bit of a sociopath and the dialogue kind of reflects that so he calls his weird nerd girlfriend or pseudo girlfriend and she says who knocks anymore when he knocks at the door like, okay, people who knock are considered not burglars. That's who. It's courtesy. I know that's a long lost word these days, but she takes him to the hospital using a carber, which is like an Uber, but a car. So hilarious and creative. And why would you take someone to the hospital in the Uber? Like, talk about liability. If you're that driver, anything happens to that passenger. You're probably going to get sued. I don't care what liability clauses they have in there. You're going to get sued by somebody. I'd be like, no. Call an ambulance, people. Really. If you if you need to go to the hospital, you call an ambulance. And he could have ditched his uniform at her house, put on some, like, sweatpants or something, and then gotten in an ambulance saying he got, like, hit by a car and it ran away or something. Nope. None of that. Well, then we get this weird black goo dripping out of a portal because that's what the alien was trying to warn him about, and it kills a duck. And it vaguely reminds me of the Venom uniform, honestly, from the old days. Well, then, uh, the doctor's examining him and she shows up and gives him a big old hug even after he calls the doctor a sadist and then she recaps the story of him being missing for like five pages and it's it's riveting then he comes eye to eye with his girlfriend and thanks her for hiding the costume even though he just said all will be forgiven for calling my mom if you hide my costume what what no, she even says, like, excuse me, but nope, this kid's a self-absorbed little sociopath. Well then, speed kill, a speedster villain, or kill speed, so, something equally stupid, shows up and stands in some really weirdly unnatural poses and takes out some cops and doctor and she doesn't want to be in the hospital and that's when the kid puts his mask on and stands there in his underwear facing off with her and it's really dumb and then it ends. This... This was boring. It was boring. The kid's not very likable. He's kind of a jerk. He takes zero responsibility for any of his actions. He's arrogant beyond belief. The way he's written comes off very sociopathic. I am definitely done with this series. I tried giving it a second chance and it was at least as disappointing as the first issue. Probably a little bit more. Some of the art's pretty good. I'll give credit on that. So I, I thought the colors were really vibrant. I thought they, they did a really good job. Lettering was really good. Some of the art was really good. Some of it was kind of crap. Like people look kind of weird in a few scenes. So I don't know. It's not for me. It's too arrogant and self-righteous. And to me, that's not what heroes are. That's what villains are. I do like his costume. I just think the character is incredibly unlikable and smug and has some sociopathy issues that probably need to be addressed in a mental institution. So I will not be picking this one up. I can't recommend it. I do like the cover. It's a cool dynamic cover, but beyond that, this is a big miss for me. So sorry, everybody, but that'll do it for this one. As always, thank you so much for listening and supporting the channel. Be sure and hit like, share, and subscribe. Tell your friends about the channel if you like what I do here. Until then, next time, thanks as always for listening.